Asante ah, sana mtazamaji wa Mispa TV. Nakukaribisha tena nikikusalimu habari ya asubuhi. Nakukaribisha kwenye kipindi hiki cha juzi ya kuogofia. Nikitumai uko salama na mimi kuambia kwamba kipindi cha juzi ya kuogofia ni kipindi ambacho kinakuletea hadithi za mtu. Hadithi ya mtu, mali mtu ametoka, mali Mungu amemtoa na anaweza kumpatia jana na leo ya kuvutia. Hivyo basi mtazamaji na kuambia ukati pale. Hivyo basi bila kupoteza wakati tuko na mgeni kwenye studio. Good morning my brother. Yes, karibu sana. Asante. And uh, mwanzo ni sema asante kwa sababu ya kukubali kuja na hata kutupea hadithi yako. Asante sana. Kabla haujaanza nataka utazame kamera ya nyumbani, salimia mtazamaji alafu tuambie majina yako. Aya, nyote na wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu, amjambo. Na watakieni mwaka mpya mwema na wenye fanaka. Majina. Kwa majina ni Bernard Kuria Njuguna kutoka Wanyororo B. Yes. Ah uh, Ticha tulikuwa tuna Ah uh, Ticha uh, ni ukweli labda mimi nina na labda mimi nina. Ticha unajua hadithi yako najua ni ndefu na ninatumai ya kwamba leo tumekuja ili tuweze kumakinika kupitia hadithi yako. Ah uh, Ebu tell us where you started. Uh, bwana Jose mengi yametendeka mengi yametokea kwanza ni kuja kusema Mungu alivyo mkuu na vile amesaidia mengi nimeyatenda wengi wanaoniona najua mwanijua kitu ambacho nitasema ni yale nimeyaona kwanza kabisa mwaka 2019 sio 2010, 2010 yalianza kutendeka ambayo mie si kuona kama ni kitu kubwa mie nimechukua pikipiki nimekunywa ambacho watu wamesema ni chai nikaenda bahati kurudi sikufika nyumbani mbali nilifika kijabe hospitali kuelezwa sababu sikujua ni pikipiki imeniangusha na mie ndiye nilikuwa na pikipiki kisa na maana ulevi yakaanza hapo nikatibiwa mguu mmoja ukakuwa mfupi na ikawa nimekuwa kivete wengi wamewahi niona vile nilivyokuwa kasi siendi najiliwaza tu lakini ajabu ni kwamba nasema tu kileo ni kuendelea tu bado yani after after the accident still after the accident mm. nikaendelea tu na pombe nikaendelea na pombe mguu ule haukupona ulivyostahili ilibidi tena nirudi hospitali ikiwa tu itolewe zile chuma na itolewe chuma ikatwe yenyewe mguu ukawa mfupi na nikakuwa kivete sasa ya kabisa kurudi baada ya kupona watazamaji niwaambie Mungu ni mkuu nikapona na kupona nikarudi tu pale pale kuendelea tu na tabia na kileo vile tu ilikuwa nikaendelea nikaendelea sasa mie nikiwete nikatoka mahali kazi nilikuwa nikaenda mahali pengine ambapo ni karibu naweza tembea kwenda nyumbani na kurudi um, labda 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 bwana kure kabla hujafika mahali pale uh, unaweza tuelezea mahali penye ulianzia mambo ya pombe because you see many people tuseme kama we ni mwalimu na umehitimu Can you can you please tell us where you started kukunywa pombe if you maybe can remember when you started drinking it was a, ilianza kama habit ikakuja hivyo hadi ukafika to this extent because wakati unaona umefika mali mpaka pombe inakutesa hivyo it's because you started from somewhere can you maybe tell us where you started very good jose kwa kuuliza hilo swali hmm. na umefanya vizuri kuuliza muda huu ambapo shule zimefungwa hmm. 
sababu kwanza kuuliza kwake Jose hapa ni sheme Jose mimi niliaza kunywa pombe nikiwa shule high school high school nikaanza kuonja na hiyo ndiyo ni, ni sheme nasema sababu ya wale wako nyumbani sasa kabla wajafungua shule yes sherehe ziko wazazi wanatengeneza wana vitu kama hivyo mm. onja kidogo si mbaya mm. ilianza tu namna hiyo lakini yangu usikuambiwa ati nionje mimi niliingia kule na nikaendelea form 3 form 4 kwa hivyo jose ni kuambie hapo ndiyo nilianzia kunywa kileo mm. sio pombe ambaye ina maana mm. ni seme ni huko manyumbani maifichoni changa changa busa na vitu kama hizo yes mpaka sasa nikandipotoka shule sasa nikafunguka kuingia kwa ba kunywa chochote kile ambazo hata siwezi kuelezea majina yake zingine uliingia kwa college ukaenda college nikatoka hapo nikaenda college meru nikuendelea tu kulewa na kusoma college na unasoma ukilewa da na kuendelea na kuendelea sasa ndivyo ikafika siwezi lala lazima ninywe na hayo yote nimekuja kuona ni akili ya kujiambia sio mwili wa binadamu Mungu hakuumba mwili namna hiyo hmm. ah nikiendelea baada ya kuwa kiwete na kuendelea vile vile siwezi kusema juzi sababu sielewi vizuri ilivyokuwa mwaka wa 2019 na sistemi atimie ndio najua ni kuona niliona kadi za hospitali maandiko ya daktari picha za mwili wangu x-ray na zio na zio na ndio naanza kuelezea kuja hapa kwamba nilikuwa wapi sio mimi kujielewa mimi nikianza kidogo nilijiona mwezi wa moja baada ya kutoka shule siku fulani mwezi wa sita. lakini kujijua nilikuja kujijua nikiwa kitandani mwezi wa moja. Yaani mwezi wa sita, ndio wewe unajikumbuka ukitoka shule. Jose vile umeuliza mimi nilikuja kujijua mm-hmm. mwezi wa moja. Tangu nilipotoka shule jioni masaa ya kutoka shule. June. Mimi nilijijua nikiambia mtoto nataka kwenda shule mwezi wa moja. akili yangu ndiyo ilirudi na haikurudi vile nilimwaga machozi kuona mwanangu kuona mama yangu kuona babangu na mimi hatuishi na hawa wako mbali na mimi wako mai mayu mimi niko na kuru manyororo naona tuko nao hiyo kitu ikanichanganya ilibidi nipelekwe hospitali madhara nimepelekwa hospitali hapo maimai nimepelekwa pigi hichi nimepelekwa sababu ya yale mambo kisa na maana ni vileo vile nakumbuka niwaambie kidogo niliposema nataka kwenda shule mwanangu aliniambia nichukue miti nitembe miti gani crutches nikamuuliza ya nini hebu jiangalie niko na chuma miguuni ikaanza machozi sasa kisa na maana ni kuelezee kuuliza kuja kuambiwa baadaye sababu hata leo sijui ilikuwa nini ilikuwa nitelemke nyumbani kutoka maili kumi, nitelemke wanyororo wangu 
lakini badala ya kwenda huko nikielezewa nilipelekwa maili kumi hospitali siku hiyo ambaye siijui mediko nikapelekwa PGH Nairobi Women alafu Medi Hill hizo hospitali zote siwezi nikakuelezea hata moja mimi sikuona but watu wanakuambia ule mimi yote ni kuelezewa hadithi mimi naona tu picha za x-ray ulikuwa umepoteza fahamu kabisa 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 yote nimesema mwezi ni tano bila kujua nafanya tu mambo na kula niko nyumbani sina shida lakini sijui chochote mpaka juzi nikaenda christmas uh, uh, ya jamhuri watu wananiuliza wananiona wanacheka wanalia nawaambia sijui mnalilia nini nini kumbe wananikumbuka vile nilikuwa nikiwaeleza mm. sasa mambo haya yote niliyoyaona kwa mwaka mwezi sita sijui na sielewi hata wow mtazamaji tunataka twende break dogo tukienda break kisha tureje ili uh, uh, tuzidi kufahamu mengi kwa sababu umeona huyo ni mtu ambaye amekaa takriban miaka miezi mitano hajui mahali alipo hajui kinachoendelea na ni mtu ambaye yuko hai uh, ayo yote ni matendo ya Mungu so we go for a short break and we will be back tutakueleza mengi ama tutazidi kujua mengi kutoka kwa mgeni wa siku ya leo don't go away Karibu tena mtazamaji wa Mispa TV. Uh, today I have an amazing guest. Uh, uh, uyu ni mwalimu ambaye tulimjua akiwa mtu mzima, mtu bila kilema chochote. Na nataka tuangazie <coughs> hadithi ya Ticha hebu turudishe pale kwa gauge, kwa pombe sasa. Tupeleke pale kwa pombe, mahali penye ulikuwa mwalimu umesimama wima. Ehe, <coughs> hebu turudishe kidogo kwa um, mtazamaji ningepata kusema ndio nasema ni furaha lakini sioni ile furaha kwa kileo kile mahali kama nikikumbuka tulisema ni mashimo <laughs> naingia pale kuna glasi kuna vikombe vitu kama vile nilikuwa nafurahia ambaye sasa nimeshindwa ni furaha gani hiyo nilikuwa natembea wengi wakiniangalia hivi mnaona mpira hunge nitoaje sasa football mm. namba tatu mgongoni mm. na singe mahali nimefika na mpira ni mbali mm. nikiwa shule mimi ni referee i'm the best coach mm. lakini kwa sasa hivi sasa nikihingu lazima nifike chini siwezi sikato kurukaruka na mguu hivi Aa. yote yameisha na ni yote niseme kwamba imekuja sababu ya hiyo mashimo Ma- mashimo mtazamaji ndio mtazamaji aelewe mashimo it's a place we used to go tulikuwa tunaingia hiyo place ni ni beze yenye ilikuwa you know rentos zenye kila nyumba iko na pombe kivyake kila nyumba iko na pombe kivyake Hey, that that's used to call it mashimo tumeenda mashimo kunywa hapo kulikuwa na vilabu kama nane yes i remember kwa nyumba moja kwa, kwa building moja <laughs> building moja yeah. sasa tukaendelea tu lakini ni seme sioni sioni yangu ni uchungu 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 leo hii uwanja siwezi 
siwezi kimbia siwezi endesha hiyo pikipiki sasa mambo yamekuwa magumu na magumu zaidi lakini gumu vipi Mungu alinionekania nilivyokuwa nataka kusema 2019 June ambaye siwezi kuambia nilikuja kuambiwa baadaye ni mtu tu alipitia hapo asubuhi ati akaona kama ni pikipiki na mpaka leo siwezi kukuelezea kama ni mimi nilikuwa naendesha ama nilipatwa na pikipiki mwili wangu umejaa chuma kutembea ni shida ila tu nitembee pole pole maneno ya haraka hakuna tena nasema hivi msikilizaji mtazamaji yote haikuletwa na mapenzi yangu lakini ila tu ni kutumia ati ni chai ati ni chai yose ni kuambie singelala na nilikuwa na attitude moja ambaye si kuijua holiday siku anatumia kitu kama hicho ndio sio usikie mhm holiday ni ngapi kwa mwaka mm-hmm. kuna fast siku anatumia 12 of the december christmas situmi those are around 10 days in a ma, in a, in, a, in a year let, let me tell you hizo ndio siku ambazo haukunywi pombe hizo situmi it was your own principle my own principle Yaani siku zile watu wanaenda kwa ba sana. Siku zile watu wanaenda kunywa mimi sikuwa nikiingia kunywa. That's, that's, that's funny. Sherehe yangu ilikuwa namna hiyo. But hizi siku zingine hizi siku zingine ni kuwa drunk kila throughout throughout kila siku. Kwa hivyo 365 360 mimi mlevi. Hizo zingine hapa na pale Ah. Na hiyo ilikuwa namna hiyo. It was your principle. My principle. Christmas hawonje. Si ati ni sikuku. Ni sikuku tu ndio tukakunywa. Hakuna. <laughs> Nilikuwa nachukua kama ni lazima. Kwangu ni lazima. Mhm. Ati kesho niamke mapema niende kazi. Kwanza naingia ni kunywe kwanza. Ndio niamke mapema. Sio ndio ni lale nafikiria ni kitu mzuri sana so so wewe yako ulikuwa ukikunywa not in the morning yako ilikuwa not in the morning ni jioni yes ni jioni every day every day niende nikalale lakini mazuri yenye nimeangalia kuyaona let, let, let me ask you did it affect maybe you know we we've known teachers especially wale wameajiriwa na serikali we've known them na vitu kama kuchukua loans I, I believe mwalimu in katikati hakuwa na haso lingine wewe pesa ya pombe ya kila siku ulikuwa na ama pombe huwa ikosi um that is exactly what happens mm-hmm. sioni vingine sababu huwezi tumia namna hiyo ikuwe unatumia mshahara sio mshahara hiyo sio mshahara yes mshahara haiwezi Hey. mpaka today ni sehemu ya msikilizaji muangaliaji yote ni loan hakuna pesa ya mshahara inaweza fikia kunywa kila siku yote ni loan shailo kidogo kidogo tu ikibaki mara ya mwisho hauna hauna vingine that is what has happened mosu ni sehemu ya msikilizaji muangaliaji mimi ndio naongea na hayo yametendeka kwangu yes kwa sababu ya nini ya hiyo kujiona kama ndio mzuri na hakuna kitu hata kimoja nimeangalia ulevi kitu yenye inaweza leta kwa boma hakuna ni farakano tupu yose ni kuambie kitu gani mzuri umekula alafu ukifika kwako unauliza simu yako iko wapi sio kutafuta unauliza asubuhi unauliza nilikuja saa ngapi mpaka unauliza una, um, kama umekula uko nomo kweli yeah, that's not normal hakuna yes hakuna mahali kileo inafika ati inaonyesha ati ni mzuri una oh, ilikuwa mzuri yenye ulikunywa ilikuwa mzuri hakuna and what how was your relationship 
in uh, uh, wewe shule na na na, na pombe in school au kuna kosana na principal and head teachers and all that ah uh, in my work hakuna kosa lilikuwa natokea ila tu ni kujivita mhm sio atikuwa ni mzuri sana nimefanya vizuri hakuna ni kujivita because i believe wakati umekunywa usiku especially hizo pombe ambazo kwa sababu waking up it's an issue, it's an issue kukunuka mdomo italazima itenda ikienda ikinukiona hakuna kitu kizuri kiko ndani yake now because you are teacher and you are here mwalimu because there is a gap and a lot of teacher drinking huko nje tunajua wanajua wengi wana wanafunga ile serious we know them mwalimu uh, secondary teacher primary teacher wengi wamejulikana kwa kukunywa pombe now um nyinyi kama walimu pale kwa shule let's let me ask you this Could, uh, how do you how do you relate kuna wanakuchekelea tu kukuangalia tu ama kulikuwa na walimu wengine wenye wanakufanyia ushauri ah uh, jose ni kuambie haiwezi kuwa tu watu wanakuchekelea mm. lazima kutapatikana wawili watatu ama wote wanakuambia mm. kwa hivyo mengine yenye tunafanya ni mwenye kirukamuto Mm. Kirukamuto ndiyo anaendelea tu na wengine wanaona. Hiyo ndiyo inakuwa kashida. Mm. Lakini chini ningeomba jiangalie vizuri uone unafanya nini. So in school uh, kuna wanyo wanakuongelesha wala notice unaenda vibaya. Eh wana, wanaonaga you. wote wanaonaga mm. na wanakuambia. Lakini sababu ni kirukamuto unajifanya unajua sana. Haya at the same same uh, the same same place eh? Do you still have a company of other teachers? Now that is the problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There are others you will meet. Jioni mtakutana tu hata wakiongea. Na mwambie na mseme wale walimu wajui kile wanasema. Uh, hawajui. Sasa hiyo ndio inakuwa kashida. When you, you mnaanza kushikana hivi kama because ukipigiwa kelele huko, ukipigiwa kelele kule, mwingine anacheka. Jioni anakulipisha. Hiyo ndio shida uende unulie hiyo ndio shida if people would know there is no need there is nothing good in it whatever especially you know you are addressing i, I like the way you will start ukasema shule zimefungwa you know you are addressing teachers let me tell you mwalimu something that you don't okay maybe i know you know this because you are you are a teacher na hata sasa hizi kuna wale wenye wako kwa hiyo shule yako still wako in the same same nini Eh, eh, shida because ni minyororo wacha tuseme ukweli ni minyororo you know w- w- ni ile ni ile labda labda vitu mingi haukumbuki but i want to tell you penye sisi tulikuwa tunakuona mwalimu we used to see you as a, as a, of course we used to obey teachers and respect teachers sana tukiwa pale kwa kwa club eh enzi yetu sisi tukikunywa you used to call us daktari but yeah. uh, but it just because i was a volunteer in a vct na i'm coming out of that hospital was a doctor anyway <laughs> now sasa nakumbuka mkikutana nyinyi professionals mlikuwa kwa mkikutana nyinyi professional na we used to respect you so much tulikuwa tunawaheshimu sana sasa after that ndio tunarudi tunaona because mwalimu the reason why i called you here it's because i want us ninajua kuna mpango tutafanya because teachers are many more na bila wewe wewe mwenyewe wewe kukuja upeane story useme mwalimu staff room ninaijua vizuri mwalimu mimi ninajua what you are going through umenipata because ni muteko mwalimu how can you take a loan hebu niambie uchukue loan others wanachukua loan wajenge <laughs> wewe unachukua loan ujipange kukunywa sasa niulize kwanza hapo kwa loan tuseme umeenda umechukua 100000 ama 50000 hii pesa ulikuwa unaanza kuipanga itakunywa mande ama ulikuwa unakuja una spoil Let me tell you. Hakuna mm. mahali kuna kuwa na budget ya kileo. Hakuna. Mm. Ati mbili kama daktari mbili mara mara mbili kwa siku <laughs> hakuna. Hakuna. Inaingia ukishaingia kama ilikuwa elfu kumi kwa mfuko ikibaki ni bahati. Unasema bahati. Ehe. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Unasema tu bahati ikibaki. 
alafu kama sio wewe umekunywa umekunywa nusu nusu ikakunywa nusu ime inakunywa na wengine hata ni kuota 1000 utakunywa je ishi ilikuwa inakuwaga na muna hiyo na sioni kama inamebadilika yes hakuna hakuna mtu ataniambia mm. ame budget anafanyaka vile vile mambo ina, ina, inaka lazima uharibu budget ya lazima iharibike mm. kwa hivyo lazima loni kama ulikuwa umechukua ya kujenga ploti 1200 ni moja tiari ukifika nyumbani kumi imeisha the same day mm. na ilikuwa ya 200 ya sasa imebaki 190 yes itanunua haiwezi less than haiwezi haiwezi kwenda kufikiria unaenda kufikiria wapi pale kwa kwa club kwa club <laughs> yani yani umechukua loan ya 200,000 unue plot umesha kunywa kumi. kufikiria uwezi fikiria nyumbani kwa nyumba lazima uende fikiria kwa uende fikiria kwa kwa club <laughs> Mbili tufikirie. Mm-hmm. Kwenda kulipa kwa kirabu. Sasa ita 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 itafika. Haiwezi. Sitakuisha. Itaisha. Itaisha. And that's how teachers wanaenda wanakuwa hivyo. Not only teachers, professionals. That is the problem. Hivyo ndio wanaenda. Unapata mtu ni daktari kwa miaka mingi lakini hana kitu. I, I, I remember we, we, we also had a, a friend of ours stuck in mtaji hapa because sijui kama aliweza kuacha but mimi uomba Mungu siku moja tukutane naye daktari mmoja ambaye unamkumbuka sana I remember mnamkumbuka sana mkumbuka. so sisi nyinyi mlikuwa kwa hiyo category ya, ya ya walimu and you know this thing ilikuwa inakuja hata askari you can remember the askari when walifika mahali we, we no longer recognize them kama askari because mkikuja kutukano kwa changaa mlimenda na deni anatukano wa pamoja You know, alikuweko alikuweko aliku, aliku, and is an askari askari wale wengine walikuwa kuja kuchukua rushwa ama hongo wakikuja kuchukua wanachukua kwa heshima sana wanakuja mpaka mkiwaona ule mwenye mgema mwenye anapika pombe anaenda na anawaonea kando hata hawakaribi anaonea lakini sasa kuna wale wenye walikuja wakaingia kwa changaa sana mpaka akikuja nikumbuka mkuna askari yake ya nani alikuwa kwa anatukano toka nje you know you know there were those askaris when you hawako yani professional yako ambayo inaheshimika na, na the society umeidunisha na hiyo ni happen anyway so mwalimu wa, ulienda pale uh, ulienda hospitali after umevunjika mguu now what happened uli 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 u, okay tuseme umepoteza mafikira imerudi vizuri now what happened um All said and done baada ya kupona mm. nilirudisha nirudi nyumbani kwangu sasa na kuendelea na kazi Sasa niko kazi mm-hmm. lakini ambayo ningesema niliona tu kitu moja Mungu alinionekania mm-hmm. kule nikatoka vitu kama hivyo pombe mimi ni adui yangu na adui yangu kabisa. Mm. Sitaki kuiona tena. So after after kutoka hospitali kuna ile nyo unasema ulitoka kunywa pombe. Lakini when did you stop? Hiyo baada ya hiyo accident. Oh, oh, okay. Kuja kujirealize hiyo mm. mwezi wa 11. Mm. Sikurudi mpaka leo. Ulisema enough is enough. Enough is enough. Mm. Sababu for one thing vile niko nikijiangalia kwa mwili na memory na nini ni kama Jose mimi nilikuwa nimekuwa nimeenda yeah. ni Mungu alinionekania akaona wangu lakini vile nilikuwa it was worse. so there is no need ya kusema ati naweza kunywa ama nini kama kuna kitu i cannot touch ni kileo chochote kile and for your information muzikiraji hakuna kitu sijatumia hiyo po kileo kutoka idea marogoto marogoto bia mpaka ingine inaitwa CG mnaitaka namna gani ingine inawekwa inaitwa kemade kemade <laughs> zote nimekamia mm. lakini kwa sasa hakuna hakuna hawezi tumia siwezi 
Now we will learn we will learn it uh, the hard way. Ilikuja yako kuacha ilikuja the hard way. Imekuja the hard way. And uh, maybe unaweza pata fursa ya kuambia mtazamaji eh, kuna, kuna w- w- when, when you come to God, when you come to God na Mungu akusaidie kama vile alikusaidia. Kuna mambo hurudi kwa sababu wa Yona I normally confess that Mungu alinirejeshea Kenya kilikuwa kimepotea. Kwako imeanza kurudi? Um I pray. Mm. I pray. Mm. Memory is coming. Mm-hmm. My mind imekuwa in place. Mm-hmm. Sasa I can see forward. Mm-hmm. Naona makuu yanakuja. Yes. Kwa hivyo maneno ya, ya yale yalikuwa yamepotelea huko mm-hmm. yanaanza kuondoka. Yanaanza kuondoka. Yanaanza kuniondokea. Okay. So, so na uh, what, what you kama umeanza kufeel hivyo it is you, you know myself na unajua kuna tumetoka na wewe na if at all ni saizi you know uh, mtazamaji i remember mwalimu used to advise me na kumbuka mkini advice now that is where inakuwa ga very funny in fact tulikuwa tunaiongea na my brother muidhika tunaiongea jana nikimwambia kwamba utakuja kwa studio and we were like i remember there was a time muliniita siju mlikuwa alimkadha kuniongeresha ni wache pombe lakini i love the people when you niongelesha ni wache pombe we are in the same bar now the different is at need sometimes we go to the night shack keg no mean wa makali you know you used to drink the beer but sasa mean ni wa makali now mpaka mnafika mahali mnaniongelesha ile kwa too much so yeah uh, 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 it is it is god mimi najua mungu anarudisha Mungu ndiye aliyemkuu. Mm. Na anarudisha. Ye kweli. Ukiniangalia unaona sina men. Mm. All of this. Mm. Ni hiyo tu. Ni pombe tu. Si sehemu ya tini mimi atilikuwa mwingine. Ni bahati mbaya. Mm. Hakuna bahati mbaya. Eh. Wow. Now, uh, ningetaka labda ushauri ushike microphone vizuri kisha ushauri labda mtazamaji ama not mtazamaji especially I want you to start with the teacher. Um, if I may say na niseme ukweli uh, ukienda hospitali unaandikiwa moja mbara mbili mm. na daktari anakuangalia anasema asubuhi moja mm. usiku moja kabla hujarara na anaongea hakuna mtu anaongeleshaga na kumwambia asome hapana anasemaga na anasema kwa lugha yote ili wewe usikie. Kama pombe ingeandikwa namna hiyo na iwe mwenye kuuza anasema namna hiyo endelea. Lakini hakuna mahali nimeona hata. Hata hata. Nauliza ni mahali gani imesaidia? Hakuna In fact, ni kuumiza inaumiza. Mm. Hata kama ni uchungu hukusikia sababu hukuweko wewe mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. Ikishaisha, uchungu unafanya nini? Unarudi. Kwa hivyo ningesema na niwambie. Kwanza sisi ambao tuko darasani tunafundisha tuachane naye. Kabisa kabisa tuachane naye sababu hakuna kizuri chochote kiko pale. Wengine wote Ateneni na pombe. Pombe hakuna mahali inasaidia. Hata hata uh, and especially for 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 our dear teachers. Uh, remember hata we mimi usema kwa walimu ajikumbuke yeye akiwa mwanafunzi. They used to admire teachers. I think that is why hata wengi wamekuwa walimu because walipenda the career ya to be a teacher role model. Role model. No when you drink you feel something. Mtoto labda anaweza kuwa kupenda lakini akiangalia ai teachers mwalimu amekuwa hivi so it is it is it is good you listen to what mwalimu is saying yeye yeah, amepitia through an experience sending them away yes instead of being a role model yes wewe well, unawasenda we. na hiyo ndio issue moja ya mwalimu to a role model yes let us be good role model lakini sio role model kwa kilabu kwa kilabu Yeah, because I also remember of course wakati kwa hizo klabu mara moja ama mbili mwanafunzi wako labda atakuwa anakuja anakuja kwa anaingia kwa hiyo klabu utamkataza vipi auwezi utamshauri vipi 
how can you tell mwanafunzi we mwenye unanuka pombe utaambia je mwanafunzi awache kutumia pombe so uh, walimu we are playing a very big role mwalimu was telling you stories zingine tunaweke wana Mungu ndio tuweze yeah. kunarate if i tell you hata wakati utani invite in your school i will come unajua mimi ni mimi usema hata sigara nilianza ku smoke nikiwa class 5 so i want to talk to that mwanafunzi na pia mwalimu mwenye anaona mwanafunzi wa class 5 hawezi smoke i smoked when i was in class 5 na niliwacha sigara hiyo yenye nilianza class 5 niliacha nikiwa mtu mzima kabisa so hata pombe tulianza tukua primary school and uh, na hiyo ndio kitu yenye hiyo ndio kitu yenye umewacha pombe ama Mungu amekusaidia ukawacha pombe so that you can impact on the teachers tuliwacha zote wow that's good because kwanza sigara iko na ni gap kubwa sana people watu wanagonjeka because of cigarette na hatujui watu wanagonjeka na alafu hiyo ni ngumu sana kuacha hiyo hata kugonjeka hata kufariki hata kufariki because of cigarettes hata si hata pombe so thank you very much uh, kwa ku find time na kwa kuja ukatembea nawe mtazamaji sikufikia hapo si mimi sitaongeza la mitume wala la nabii ila tukukoma niseme ni asante sana kwa sababu ya kutazama kipindi cha juzi ya kuogofia